Oh my goodness! Okay, check it out, guys. I'm doing a voiceover. I had these extra seeds that I wasn't going to do anything with. Some of them got kind of wet. So, I dumped them on the side of my yard on a board and stuck a piece of corn in the top. And now I'm doing a time lapse. So let's see what comes to it overnight. I was curious, so I just set up the camera right there. And look, here's our first culprit. A possum came. And you know why? I think one of uh, part of that extra um, seed mix that I have has raisins in it. So I think the possum was coming to eat the raisins. It's kind of hard to tell, but... Oh, <clears throat> and he left. So yeah, I just set up the camera overnight. Look, there's a smaller one. This is only, I'd say, probably only 20, 25 feet from my front door, but it's like on the edge of my woods. So I was kind of curious. Look, and now the bigger one's back. I'm actually not sure how many different ones came, but they're really goofy because they, they only eat for a little while, look, and then they leave. And then one comes back, like a different one, or I don't know. Okay, let's see. I, I skip most of the parts I thought I did. Oh, here's one. I either speed up or skip the parts when there's nothing. So I just recorded, I did like a time lapse overnight, and I just wanted to see what would all come. Look, hey, you can see the other one in the background. It's like waiting its turn. Oh, here it comes. It wants raisins. So. Okay, this one's staying longer this time. That, that the, That's probably why that other one's getting impatient. Oh, there it goes. Hey, there's a cat. That's not my cat. Oh, and the little one's back. There's a centipede. I see a centipede. See it crawling on there? Honestly, I thought, uh... I thought for sure there'd be some mice. Okay, it looks like I sped this part up. Okay. Oh my gosh, look. See, they come and go. Come and go. Okay, I think something else shows up pretty soon here. Watch. Oh wait, see, they're getting brave. The other one's in the background, see? Here it comes. So they must be pretty solitary, because look, they don't like being by each other. Watch. It's creeping. Ooh, yeah, see? So unless they're during mating season or something, they seem like solitary souls. But what do I know? Like, I, you know, we don't have much interaction with possums. Or opossums. Opossums? I just say possums. Uh, except when they're, like, dead on the road, and that's sad, and they kind of get a bad rap. Look, I think they're adorable. They're probably highly intelligent. I've heard they are just as intelligent as like a dog. So I can imagine like if you had a tame one, it would like from birth, it would probably be an amazing smart creature. There's a centipede. What is he? Is that centipede eating my raisins? Okay, obviously, uh, yeah, they just keep coming and going, but something else shows up. Okay, it's coming up right here. Hey, chubby! Look at these two chubby fellers. Hey, where'd you go? I skipped ahead. Where'd them chubby fellows? There they are! Oh my gosh, and that's a happy little pair. Or friends. Wow, they're chunky. Look, they're using their little hands to scoop through and pick out the raisins. Where the possum just used his little nose. Yeah, they, they're definitely more versatile with their little hands, you know. They're like scooting through there trying to get the stuff they want. Hey, you guys are fat enough. Get away from my raisins. Wow, they're very, very healthy looking. And, uh, yeah, once they leave, then the possum came back. Dude, we're going to have to do more of these. I just think this is really cool. Wow, what was that? Oh, are them leaves falling in front of the camera? Um, Yeah, that must be leaves falling. What if I... Oh my gosh, what if I saw a person walk by? 
Oh, on Halloween. A person with no legs. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Hello there, sir. Well, oh, that's a good shot. He's close. I might put the camera... I'm going to put the camera way closer next time. But I, I have some other ideas. Like, I should put food in something like... So, or something so they have to try to get it out. Like, it's a little challenge. And maybe... I don't know. Try some different kinds of food. It's kind of neat to see what will show up during the night, you know, when you're just sleeping. Okay, is this the part I was supposed to cut out? No? Yeah? Editor? Two months with no pay. You're in big trouble. <gasps> yeah, I was supposed to cut this part out. I noticed nothing went for the corn. I thought some kind of, like, other rodents would come. Um, oh, man, I think I was supposed to cut this part out. Okay, there we go. Back in action. We got action. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. So actually, I even, I 3D printed um, a little invention. I call it a treat trap. Treat trap. For like cat treats. So it's like this little thing, like cage little device. I'll show you. Um, I was thinking about setting it out there and putting treats in the middle of it. And they're going to have to like reach through to get the treats. So like... We could see if the possums or the coons, uh, raccoons, are better at getting the treats. Okay, look, it's daylight. Everything disappeared. Look, we got the shadow coming across, and then the camera stopped right now. Ah, uh, and here's some screenshots. Yay, we did it! So we had coons, cats, possums. We I don't even know how many different possums. Oh, uh, it was pretty fun. Just a quick little little video. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. And yeah, we're going to try some other stuff. Like I'll, I'll just try some different foods. And maybe like, like I said, I'll kind of challenge these woodland creatures to see how smart they are. To see if they can figure out how to get at the food. Like if I have it in, a, I don't know, with a, a container with like a little flip open door. Um, or like I said, in my treat trap where uh, I'm going to have, you know, they have to reach in and try to use their hands to get, get it out. Like, I feel like the raccoons would be good at it, but maybe not so much the possums. They don't seem to use their hands as much. Um, they use their nose more, so I think they got a little nose for rooting around. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.